Good morning, CHASM listeners. This is Ryan Rostein from the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District, and this is your weekly conservation report. Uh, It sounds like ice fishing's been getting pretty good out there lately, at least from what my buddies are telling me. I haven't had a chance to get out myself, but it sounds like the panfish are biting on quite a few lakes. Uh, With as cold as it's been, it seems like we're getting on a lot of lakes. It's getting to the point real quick where you can start driving trucks on the lake, but I just like to remind everybody to be real careful about being the first one to take a truck on the ice. Uh, There was just a little over a week ago a truck went through on Otter Tail Lake. So, you know, just make sure you're being safe and you're using your head out there. The ice is never a guarantee, and just because there's good ice on one part of a lake doesn't mean there's going to be good ice on the rest of it. So just use your heads and hope you all get a chance to get out and catch some fish this winter. Uh, As far as what's going on around here, CRP signups are now open and they're ongoing. Uh, We have a general signup that's running from now through February 28th. And we also have a continuous CRP signup that runs all the way through August 21st. Um, Under these new signups, they've really opened up the the practices that we can utilize. Um, So there's a lot of acres available right now and there's a lot of practices that we could use. So this is a really good opportunity for anybody that's been interested in CRP for the last couple years but hasn't been eligible for anything. Uh, You have a real good chance right now of at least trying to get into the program again. So if you're interested in CRP, uh, come on down or give us a call and you can talk to either myself or Jason Selvog here in the office. Um, For those of you that aren't eligible for CRP, if it's non-cropland and you're looking to do some sort of habitat, the Stearns SWCD also has our own pollinator program now that we've developed. Um, Essentially what we're looking for is areas that are greater than a half acre and uh, it would be planted to a pollinator mix that would be pretty similar to what you would have with CRP. And the reason we were able to do this is because we had a generous donation from the Stearns County chapter of Pheasants Forever. Um, They're a really good organization. They've been good partners with us and uh, they donated some money to us to get this pollinator program off the ground. And speaking of the Pheasants Forever in Stearns County, uh, Stearns County Pheasants Forever's annual banquet is March 7th this year, and that's at the St. Cloud Holiday Inn. And every year at the Stearns County Pheasants Forever banquet, they recognize Stearns County's Outstanding Conservationist of the Year, which was Galen Wilczek this year. Um, So if you'd like to see that, come on down on March 7th, and Galen Wilczek will be getting a a real nice dedication there and there's a lot of great prizes on hand everything from guns to equipment for the dogs Um, there's all sorts of stuff that you could win there and it goes to a really good cause and a really good organization so check that out if you get a chance Um, other than that that's all I've got for you this week if you need to contact us we're located in the marketplace mall next to pizza ranch in Waite Park Uh, or you can give us a call at the office the number is 320 251-7800, extension 3. And again, this has been Ryan Rostein, and that's your weekly conservation report.